What's this, JJ? Breast pump? That wasn't good. I know. We are done with this thing. These breastfeeding days are over. Yeah. I'm not going to need this thing anymore. gonna date dare take this pump from him because I don't have time for the crime right now so we're gonna let him play with this little breast pump because we're not even using it anymore anyway thanks for tuning in to another video it's Nella aka naturally Nella you can find me on Instagram as naturally Nella don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to my channel this is JJ Jaden say hi no, say hello Okay, well, he's not cooperating right now, but today's video I think is really, really, really important. What made me um, share this video or want to share this video is because I posted something on Instagram basically celebrating my breastfeeding journey. Shh. Um, celebrating my breastfeeding journey. And I'm about to show it to you guys. Like, it got over a million views, and I was like, whoa, like, so many moms can relate. Um, so many moms will be able to relate in the future. So why not share a video talking about my breastfeeding journey and also throwing some tips in there? I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me. We officially made it to 18 months of breastfeeding. 18 months. Whole month. Well, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't 18, but it was almost 18. We were a few days off, so I'm just gonna say we made it to 18 months of breastfeeding, and I cannot believe it because with my first son Malachi, who's across the hall, he is now he's about to be 12 next Tuesday. But I only breastfed him for a little bit for many reasons. Um, one because I wasn't educated, and two because I had um something called uh what is it dysphoric breast ejection something I can't remember dysphoric milk ejection something whatever I made a video on it and I'll actually link it in the description of this video it's basically when you breastfeed and you get a sudden feel feeling of sadness that comes over you it is not depression but it's just a sudden feeling of sadness that comes over you like it's so inexplainable, but if you look it up, just Google it. I'll put the name on the screen too. You'll see exactly what I mean. It was just too overwhelming. I'm about to give him to his dad because this noise is just way too much. I'll be right back. So I'm back. So if you have any kids, then you already know exactly where that was about to go. Making it so far to me is just a monumental moment. Like so huge um, because I didn't expect to make it that far so I really just think it's really important for me to share this because me posting that video um, made me realize that oh my god there are so many moms out here that are breastfeeding that are going to breastfeed that are afraid to breastfeed I might as well just share my experiences and hope that you know someone can benefit from that or maybe it'll encourage someone who didn't plan to breastfeed to breastfeed I do believe um, that breastfeeding is extremely beneficial for mom and for baby um, and you know, as my job as a nurse is to advocate. I'm gonna advocate for myself. I'm gonna advocate for other women, especially black women, because if you don't already know, um, black women feed, breastfeed significantly less than white women. So I also thought that was another reason for me to make this video representation. Like when you see someone who looks like you do something, it makes you feel like you can do the same thing. So that's why I thought that this was important as well. When I think about the benefits for my baby, um, you know, stronger immune system, um, less GI issues, lower infant mortality rates, um, lower instances of SIDS. It's just so many benefits um, for both mom and baby and I thought that that was just extremely important for me to at least try. So before I had Jaden, I made sure that this time I went in with the knowledge. So doing research and making sure I at least had a 
glimpse of you know what to expect instead of just going in there blindly because I felt like if I went in blindly then that would be discouraging right like if, if something didn't work and I'll be like man maybe this is not for me so I got on Google I started just googling everything um I called a lactation consultant I took full advantage of the lactation consultant in the hospital so when we first uh, were in the hospital and he latched he latched pretty well um but i was like oh my god like i'm actually doing it i did suddenly get that sad feeling because like i said i had that condition but i was like oh my god he's here like it was just so beautiful he started breastfeeding literally like minutes after he came out i started breastfeeding him he didn't have a shirt on i'm gonna try to like get pictures and stuff on here if i can find some i should be able to but he just latched on i was like oh my god this is just so beautiful how can i not continue this um it was just such a beautiful moment and from that moment for sure it's like i knew i was gonna do it but that solidified me that bond that skin to skin i was like we're gonna we gonna do this babe we gonna do this okay I know that one of the biggest things that deter people from breastfeeding is the pain, right? You hear the crack nipples and, um, you know, just all types of pain that you can experience with breastfeeding. That is because the baby's latch is not deep enough, right? So initially when I had started breastfeeding Jaden, um, my nipples would hurt and they got a little bit sore. Nowhere as bad as the first time, but they did get sore and that's because he wasn't getting a deep latch. So if your baby latches onto your breast and it's painful, immediately just take your pinky finger and insert it into the side of their mouth and it'll cause them to naturally unlatch from your breast. And then you wanna go ahead and relatch until you get a deep enough latch. Once I started making sure that every single time that latch was deep, I no longer experienced sore nipples. So if you take your finger and stroke your baby's cheek a little bit, that actually sometimes prompts them to open up their mouth. And I'm telling you, as soon as Jaden opened up that mouth, I would be like, oh. like I would literally have to like shove it in his mouth. And it, it may seem a little bit aggressive, like I didn't do it in an aggressive manner, but you do kind of have to like get them on there. Some tips for if you do get um, cracked nipples, I know that there are some, um, you know, like ointments and creams that you can use. A lot of times those creams and uh, well, those ointments um, can actually cause thrush in the baby's mouth. So definitely do some research and read reviews on those ointments before you apply them to your cracked or bleeding nipples. Um, for me personally, what I did was I just took my um, breast or my nipple, squeezed it a little bit so I can get some breast milk out, and then I actually applied it around the area, around the entire nipple, um, and that actually helped to promote healing. So that's why they call breastfeeding liquid gold, right? It has so many different properties, it's crazy, or so many different um, benefits. But something that I did, because I was so tired of looking at it, he was like two and a half, three months old, maybe two and a half months old, and he still had a clogged up, I took a little bit of my breast milk and I put it in his eye, kind of as a joke to be honest. I'm like, they say it's liquid gold, baby, we'll see if it works. And he was just like, yeah, we'll see. Y'all, the next day, Jaden no longer had that issue. I also used it on a rash uh, on his body and it made it completely go away, like within a few days. Now, I'm not saying it's a replacement for traditional therapy because sometimes you do need, you know, certain things. So definitely consult with your doctor. I'm not telling anybody to use breast breast milk to cure anything, but I, it does definitely have its benefits. Another helpful thing is just trying out different positions. Like I feel like traditionally, traditionally you'll see your mom, the moms hold the baby like this. That wasn't working for me all the time. Sometimes it worked, but sometimes it didn't. I'm gonna put up a diagram of different positions positions that you can try to feed your baby in like I don't remember all of the different names but I remember like holding him like this or like putting my boppy pillow and elevating him while he was you know his head was this way legs was that way or I did the football hold where I put a pillow here and his head would be here and his legs would be um, this way I used to be so tired like those early stages he was breastfeeding like every two hours I was so tired and then like you would think in your mind well maybe I can just pump and have you know my partner or family member breastfeed him but it's just kind of like you can do as you please but pumping before six weeks actually is not recommended why because the way how breast milk 
or breast milk production works is that it come it works by um, output so whatever is coming out your body's gonna try to produce enough breast milk breast milk to make sure you're keeping up with the baby's demand so if your baby is actually breastfeeding from you your breasts are gonna produce what your baby's asking for if you're using a pump and then pumping a whole bunch of breast milk out you're signaling your body to produce more breast milk and then let's just say you just not pump for a while and you start breastfeeding again your body's still producing all that milk right and then you're, you start to overproduce. And that sometimes can take a really long time to correct because you've already sent those signals to your body. So you definitely want to wait till at least six weeks to get everything regulated before you start pumping. But as he started getting older, it started to decrease a bit. I'm like, okay, well, you breastfeeding every three to four hours now. I see you. This is what I'm here for. Something that I feel like I went through was wondering if my baby was getting enough, right? If your baby is having enough wet diapers, enough poopy diapers, crying tears, and gaining weight the way that they're supposed to be gaining weight, don't worry, woo-saw, relax. I know we all have these family members, especially like your old school aunties, mommies, you know, old school cousins, whoever. They'll try to tell you, get that baby some water. You know, uh, you need to add some formula. You need to supplement. You need to do this. You can supplement if you choose to, like if that's your choice. Somebody tell me that I need to feed the baby some water. And I'm like, why would I give my two-week-old water? If you know that your baby is properly fed, find creative ways to tell your family members to back off. Back to the clog duck experience, which I definitely experienced. And I'm going to tell you what caused it. It didn't have anything to do with me not pumping on time, anything. Let me tell you guys what happened. So I had a, a bra, which wasn't a nursing bra or anything. And I guess because my breasts grew a little bit, the bra was a little bit tight. So the bra, um, because it didn't fit properly, it like pressed down right here and it caused milk to pool in this area and get hard. And I'm telling y'all, right here felt like hard, like a rock. I'm like, oh my God. Some tips for resolving that are taking a warm shower, using a warm rag on there to rub it out. So I um, hand expressed a little bit to comfort and I definitely just tried to massage that area, massage the area. Um, another thing that helped is pacing your baby down on their back, getting on top of them, like over top of them and um, just feeding them on all fours. I'm like touching all over myself. What the heck? Another thing, I don't know if this is like a Jamaican thing because all my Jamaican family members told me to do this. Um, I took a rat tail comb and I feel like that's actually what did it. I took a rat tail comb and started literally combing my boobs. It, you know, it can be avoidable if you just make sure you're pumping every two to three hours and stuff like that, which leads me to the next thing I want to talk about is I had to pump at work. That was not fun. The breaks and stuff, I'm not gonna lie, they were because I would be in there listening to music while I was pumping. Um, it allowed me to like just get away and like FaceTime my baby, you know, while I was working. But I had to pump at work. And something that a lot of moms don't know, especially when you work at a bigger company. When you work at a big company, and I'll look it up, but I think if, if you work at a company with 50 or more employees, I hope I'm not making this up, then your employer is required by law to give you enough time to breastfeed, or not to breastfeed, but to pump your breast milk. Um, and you know, just make sure that y'all look into the laws, um, into your states and make sure that you get that time that you need to pump. Because I've heard moms say that, oh, I can't, I didn't have the time to pump. Or they won't let me pump. And I'm just kind of like, that is totally illegal. I think smaller businesses, they have a little bit more room to like get away, but they have to provide you with a space. And they have to provide you with time. And my employer, kudos to them. We have rooms, breastfeeding rooms all over the place. There were a few times where moms got into my slot and had to knock on that door and let them know, baby, I reserved this room at this time. Um, but yeah, for sure, my job, they was on it. So I worked for eight hours and they allowed me to pump three times. As happy as I am to finish this whole breastfeeding journey because I get my freedom back, I I feel like I low-key grieved. Like, I'm pretty sure I cried. Not like boo-boo, but when it settled in, I was just laying in bed and I was like, wait, what? 
like I'm not gonna breastfeed you anymore. To know that I was given life or that I gave life and sustained his life with nothing else other than my breast milk for the first six months, it's just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that I was able to do that. So the fact that I'm not able to do that anymore, it's really sad, you know? But, you know, your girl, she free now. We about to turn up. We about to pull up. We about to have a drink. We about to, huh? Y'all lucky it's COVID, okay? Because I would have been out here. I know some people might be watching this too and wondering, you breastfed for 18 months. I know to the moms that don't think that's weird, you're like, why are you saying this? But believe it or not, so many think, so many people think that breastfeeding past a certain time period is weird. And I'm not going to lie. At one point, I thought, why would I breastfeed this child if they can come up to me and say, mama milk you know but you know as i got older and i matured <clears throat> and i became more educated um i'm just kind of like why not like why is it totally acceptable for me to feed my child cow milk which is nothing wrong with that you can feed your child cow milk after 12 months that is if that's your choice but why is that acceptable like you don't think anything of it but when my ch when i'm breastfeeding my 12 month old you think it's weird that i'm breastfeeding them human milk i don't understand that you know and i experienced like a lot of comments like even on social media thankfully i don't give a i don't give a darn I don't care about what people think. So I was unaffected. I'll just block you. I don't got time. So if anybody tries to shame you for breastfeeding your child, you know, at all or past a, a certain point, ignore them. I just wanted to get on here really though to just share my experience and let other women know that women black breastfeed. Black women do breastfeed. Black women do have successful breastfeeding journeys. Um, and this is not to say anything about any other races or whatever I'm speaking specifically in this part of the video to black women just because I know um you know that a lot more of us can breastfeed and a lot more of us probably want to breastfeed and breastfeed longer I just feel like it's important for me to speak to you and let you know that you're not alone you can do this you got this and you know I'm proud of you just like I'm proud of myself I'm proud of you um if you guys have any questions about my breastfeeding journey or any tips like that definitely just let me know in the comments you can shoot me a dm on instagram again it's naturally nella i'm glad that i just got to talk about this and share this experience with you guys and uh, you know like i said just let me know if y'all have any questions thanks for watching another video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time